Hall H is one of a kind. We hadn't been in a couple of years. I'm exhausted from it, frankly. But uh, it was particularly special this year because for the first time, it's been five years since we've announced a big slate. We haven't been talking about anything we've been working on. My standard answer to what's next for almost three years has been, we're not talking about anything until after Avengers Endgame and Spider-Man Far From Home come out. Today was the day that we got to go through 10 things, not just new feature films, but for the first time, these incredible mega event series we're getting to do on Disney+. Plus. We talked about Black Widow. We talked about The Eternals, this giant new film we're doing with all new heroes and all new characters. We talked about the Falcon Winter Soldier mega series coming to Disney+. Plus. We talked about WandaVision, the great series coming to Disney+. Plus. We talked about What If, the first animated series ever for Marvel Studios. We introduced Jeffrey Wright as the, uh, as the voice of the Watcher. On the WandaVision panel, we brought Tiana Paris as the adult Monica Rambeau, who was a little girl you met earlier this year in Captain Marvel. We talked about the new Thor movie, Thor Love and Thunder. We talked about the new Doctor Strange movie, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, and a ton of stuff. We always like to have a little surprise. And the panel was full of surprises, but at the very end, we decided to do one more surprise, and incredibly, two-time Academy Award winner Mahershala Ali stepped out on stage. We were all wearing our widow hats that we got when we debuted Amazing Widow footage. He brought his own hat, and he put it on, and it said Blade, and revealed that he's now playing Blade in the MCU. It's incredible. You know, we started the panel. We started the panel thanking all those people in Hall H, the history of the MCU, the history of our 23-movie Infinity Saga, which is now complete, starts and ends right there in Hall H, from Iron Man 1 all the way to today. So it was important that we unveiled it here. Not even my first time here, but like first Comic-Con ever, ever. It's nuts. Amazingly nuts. But yeah, I mean, what a... What a, what, a, what a film to come with and what a set of people to come with. It's amazing. It's like total excitement and hysteria all in one. I, I went on a walk earlier this morning and I came out of the hotel and even just before I got to the convention center, the, the giddiness and excitement made my skin go hot. And I was just watching the, the sheer like... I suppose childishness of it all. It was like it was like being a kid again. It was amazing, and then going in there and seeing that amount of people, so excited and so um, touched to see their heroes. I suppose was pretty cool. It was pretty cool to be there. This is a film that I think a lot of people have wanted for a long time. But as Scarlett said previously in in Hall H, she feels like now is the right time for for her story to be told. And I, I when she was saying that, I was just thinking about how true that actually is. Um, and especially with the women involved, with Kate, I, I feel like we're already a couple of months into shooting and we're making something that's really um, beautiful and, and sad and honest and, and cool. And it's about these cool women and it's exciting to be a part of it. I don't know, in all honesty, it was so numbing. I was, Scarlett and I were watching, we, we walked down, back down the back side of the stairs and we were just like holding each other, watching the big screen. And uh, like my heart was going so fast and her heart was going so fast. We were both just cradling each other. And it was one of those surreal moments where it was just as exciting for us to watch it on that screen with that audience as it was, I'm sure, for them. So. In all honesty, going back up on stage, that was all I couldn't, I wasn't really focused. I was just taking it all in. Yeah, this is my first Comic Con, first time in San Diego, and it's, it's so overwhelming, really. It's fantastic. It's a really overwhelming feeling, but at the same time, there's so much love. Like, you can really tell, you know, the fans of the Marvel Universe, that they just seem so supportive. And so, yeah, it was just like the perfect atmosphere to do something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gave out a load of, um, Black Widow hats, um, which are really cool. She's got this great emblem. Um, and they also announced Blade, but I'm a bit excited about that. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, yeah, it was a big photo. And I think they gave out, like, that. there must have been thousands of people out there, and we all had hats, and they put, took the biggest selfie. I'm going to have to check that out. I haven't seen it yet. It's a beautiful energy in the room. I mean, there's a lot of love and a lot of enthusiasm coming back at you. It's lovely. I thought it would be more scary than it was, and it kind of wasn't scary because it was such a warm crowd. I mean, they're so happy um, and excited to, to, to meet all the characters. It was lovely. Um, it was very exciting to join Scarlett um, in her spin-off in, in, as Black Widow. Um, it's being directed by an extraordinary 
female director, Kate Shortland from Australia, someone I've wanted to work with since I saw her film Somersault, which was about, I think, 20 years ago now. Um, and it's a story that has three very strong female characters, Scarlett, Florence Pugh, and my character. Um, so it's very, it's very exciting. Yeah, I mean, it's like crazy. Like, it really is... Uh it seems like you're like the Beatles or something. I mean, these Marvel people are like, you, you know, they're, they're so beloved. Uh, and it's such a rich fabric, this entire universe that they've created. So to be a little piece of that and sort of step in when it's already up and running so strong, it's like, you know, it's a little easier than I think when Robert Downey Jr. You kind of launched the whole thing. So in that way, yeah, it's extremely gratifying. I mean, I love the fans. I think they're so passionate and so... Uh, wonderful and very opinionated in many different directions and but that sort of investment is always what I'm looking for uh, in an audience is people that are really watching it and that really want to see what's going on I find that with the fans yeah the characters are so rich the scripts are so rich and not only rich in a way that like the action the things you know but the unexpected I mean when I was pitched this by Kate Shirley the director it was so so unexpected this character like the surprises that he contains and so that to me is like the reason why you want to be a part of these things is because of that richness it's not just that it's slick and people love it it's like it's rich oh they yeah they just gave out these black widow hats like everybody yeah it's amazing in whole age it is so exciting it's very very surreal i never um could have imagined 10 years ago that i'd be presenting footage at hall h of the standalone movie it's uh yeah, it's like a dream come true. It's, but it's still we're still in the middle of making it, so it feels almost like a, like a weird fever dream I'm currently having. It's, it's crazy. It is the most inc like crazy energy because you have thousands of people that are just so excited to be there, have waited so long to be there, and tried so hard to be there, and are so grateful to be there, and then to be able to give back to them and, you know, fulfill their dreams, their fantasy is, I mean, it's it's an amazing fan experience. Like, you, I can't really think of many other, any other experience that could be, that can be like that. It's just, the energy is, like, palpable. It's amazing. Uh, it got a great reaction in the room, yeah, because I think the it's such a great, like, brutal scene. And also you have two women fighting each other, this crazy hand-to-hand -hand combat. Like, it's brutal. Um, and uh, all the producers of our film always come on set. They're like, I don't think we've ever done this much fighting. Like, this fighting is crazy. Yeah, but there's a lot of it. But, you know, it all has, it has things come out in the wash. Sometimes you got to get, you know, you got to air it out. So that's our way of, like, family feud, you know.